Ah, spiders everywhere. Ah, about that. I was trying to use this microphone, which is pretty old, and I just took it out of the box. And only after that, I found out it was completely full of spider webs. And obviously, in the, in about two minutes, in I noticed there's spiders actually crawling up my elbows and, well, I mean, my arms or whatever. <laughs> Not really the best idea to start this. Well, um, I've had this YouTube channel here um, for quite some time, actually, but I've never really used it uh, that much to promote my work. Decided now to uh, try out a couple of broadcasts. Uh, this this will be the first one where I'll just monologue a little bit and um, and then we'll see where it goes. Maybe we're able to open a little bit of a dialogue. Let me tell you a little bit of what I do in my spare time. Uh, for many years, I dedicated myself to comic books. Since early 90s, I tried to make them in a more professional capacity. I have always self-published. Uh, I create, write, draw the stories. Sometimes I had a couple of partnerships, but mostly the work has been done by me. And I've independently released and sold. Never really hit any jackpot. That would be quite nice. But I've always broken even, at least. And above all, and most importantly, I've been able to tell the stories I wanted, the ideas I wanted to set forth, and I've always tried, uh, as best as, as best as I could, to think and do something a little bit out of the box. So in the meanwhile, I have been noticing this trend in the American comic book industry in in the industry and surrounding it, which obviously is not new. It's been here for a while, and I have noticed it before, a long, long time ago, as a matter of fact. But it has come to blows. It has come to blows. Uh, it is basically, there's an under, undercurrent now of both industry professionals, readers of the medium, and, you know, media and fans alike. Uh, a lot of back and forth, a lot of fighting, in fighting and out fighting, and you know, as as it is customary in these kind of things, it has been trended and observed and labeled as a political discussion, a political argument, a political a political fight, and whichever other way the tweet of the day likes to label it and it comes down to it boils down to the so-called sjw's the social justice warriors social justice warriors um which you should know what they are if you're <laughs> watching this video right now so i won't get into it but um the word on the street is they mostly have taken over the industry at the high ranks level. And obviously, once you start at the top, things do tend to spiral all the way down, and especially if such a tight, uh, neat industry, such as a comic book one, um, it's it, be, it becomes quite pervasive and it becomes obviously uh, anything that is done at the top will quickly and very effectively influence anything below it. So either at mid-range or at the bottom of the industry. Which means that, unfortunately for guys like myself and all the other thousands of indies out there, we, the independent creators, the independent producers, are actually do something and release it or try to release it. It just, you know, it, it becomes even harder. I mean, there's more outlets now than ever before. It is easier now to, to do it and release it on a physical level, but also to promote yourself using mediums such as this one. 
but if at the top things are being decided on a level of what is good or what should be acceptable as a standard narrative for any work of fiction for any IP in this comic book industry then apparently your outlet or your demographics or the way your book your your piece of art is going to be perceived and accepted and eventually hopefully generate some income becomes eventually uh, difficult harder now in the old days the problem was to actually break into the industry i mean you either could or you couldn't and if you decided to do things by yourself there was a few a few ways all difficult and usually you would have to end up resorting to do black and white uh comic strips that you mostly would xerox the hell out of it and try to sell at conventions or comic book fairs or whatever and then a few lucky ones could do a proper book uh, and maybe then upgrade to colors now obviously that is not the problem uh so the guardians of the industry the old guard was really uh vintage comic book professionals uh and the vanguard would be you know you you could get very uh, you could get in very luckily um or you could never go anywhere now we actually have more access to it but funny enough there's this other barrier this other barrier that is now that has now taken over uh the medium as um as basically the the torch bearers of what should be um uh, sold or not in the, in the industry so again it starts at the top um and sends shockwaves all the way to the bottom uh, so really is a cultural uh, new cultural wave so it's, it's, it's an attempt to um, to impose a certain number of ideas and rules and things that should be obeyed otherwise you cannot produce and you cannot sell or you can obviously go underground like most independent comics have always been labeled as okay now this is the narrative the narrative that a lot, a lot of creators and a lot of professionals and non-professionals alike are exposing is it the correct narrative is it the right narrative well we all know that there is a culture of uh, s j w nism highlighted and are making the big bucks the big sales although also that's uh, a point to argue which we could address in another time although i'm not a specialist on the whole plethora of titles that are currently in the market but i do get my information here and there the main criticism is that these sjw's with their political ideologies or political ideology have then taken over the medium and they are um, writing the books and publishing the books that are completely infused with uh, political agenda and propaganda and all that well you know it's always been a little bit like this one way or another one could say that today's age with these guys uh, take that have taken over probably is a little bit more toxic than before but really the the idea I wanted to set across is that I don't probably do not believe so much that the ideology of publishers uh, because obviously in the end they're the ones that hire the creative minds and they're the ones that let this uh, so-called narrative uh, carry on I do not believe so much that the publishers are uh, actively trying to inject political ideology of some kind into this or that title uh, i mean i'm pretty sure publishers have their political alliances but in my opinion in the end of the day 
I believe it comes down to one simple major factor, which has always been the problem in any work environment. One problem that if it is a problem that has affected me in the past and still affects me now, and I believe that's what most of uh, the people that have uh, that are right now talking about this are experiencing, which is very simply, and obviously, partially this is understood within the SJW uh, SJW man mantra, but my my idea, my opinion is that. The, these guys that are now allegedly um, ninety percent chances this is correct though that have taken over the the market at the top level and are doing crap comic books and sellable comic books comic books completely full of political ideologies they're not only poor creators or so so artists but my opinion is they're just outright not so much political ideologists but they are people mostly without talent and what i mean with this is that when you have a group a lobby of people trying to get a hold of a, a, a foot into an industry and obviously secure jobs which are good jobs uh, are terribly worried about injecting their political philosophies or whatever they're trying to do. I just think it's a bunch of untalented people which clinch with everything they got, everything they have. They have to clinch to these jobs because they're they're great jobs and they want them. And they're, you know, they're they're jobs that not only give you financial stability uh, up to a certain point, but they also give you name recognition and, expo and exposure. So these are just guys that, you know, need to silence whoever is below them, whoever is coming after them, whoever is catching the, the bus on the next stop. They have to stop it. And that's why they're there. That's why they're there. And that's why uh they 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 are strong because there's a, there's more untalented people in the world than talented ones it's easier to make alliances with the same kind of dumb uh, as your your own uh there's uh there's strength in those uh in, in those numbers uh, as i said there's more untalented people in the world than talented one so as uh, if you're untalented and you don't have much to sell, then by all means, make an alliance to the, the dumb guy next to you because there's a very strong chance that you'll find many more like you yourselves. So that's what you have. You have these guys, gals, these people on the top of the industry because, you know, you never want competition. You don't want competition, and publishers don't want competition. They don't want. They want to dumb down things. If if that's the reality of it, then that is a good reason to uh, have these so-called SJWs on top of the industry. And I, I thoroughly believe that. I believe yes, these guys. There's the wrong kind of people. And why? With publishers and the artists they and the writers they hire would would want to dumb down the medium because obviously if you try to do that then you know whoever is coming after you that just has a little spark uh, even a small spark of talent will easily outrun you will, will eas easily win the day because his, his work is going to be so many times better no but the reason why they want to dumb down is because dumbing down is an easy product to do. And dumbing down uh, stagnates things. And when you're at the top of your game you and you dictate the rules, as, as far as we can see, then, you know, it, may, it, makes, difficult for, it makes it difficult for anyone that is, has real talent coming up trying to show something different. 
uh, to to actually prevail because you you you'll just be banging your your face against a very strong wall, the wall of dumb things. I mean, it's the same with reality TV. I mean, they're ruling they're ruling the ratings of TV, and there's nothing you can do about it because people will go for it anyway. Okay, so this is my idea, and uh, I'll leave it here. Maybe this was self-telling. Maybe this was not needed to uh, be brought forward. But I, I think most of the uh, criticisms against his SJWs on the top tiers of the industry, I think he's focusing too much on their political agenda. And I think, although there is a political uh, vein to it, this is mostly people that know that they won't sell anything on any given time of the day. And the only way they can have a career and the only way they can make money is to obviously infiltrate and you know subjugate everyone to their to their to their uh, ideas and then obviously you know they 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 got it made. Anyway, this is just the first video. Already a little bit too long. And uh, I hope you guys come back. We can talk more about this. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Well, let's see. What matters is we all talk about this. Thank you. Have a rest of a good time. Bye-bye.